What would you think if I told you that sometimes cops make mistakes? Like, forgetting their gun? I got you. Yeah. I, 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 will, I will defend my brothers. I will defend the weak. I will pursue and fight evil so others may sleep. I am the sheepdog protecting the night. Wolf hunters unite. Bring it on. It's time to fight. As a cop, of course, I carry a gun. In fact, I carry a few guns. But you can't carry your gun everywhere with you when you're a cop, particularly into jails, lockup facilities. So what we have is a locker where you put your gun and then you pull out the key, you hold onto the key, and then you get your gun back when you're done. I learned that lesson the hard way several years ago at my first apartment. We got a call to a breaking and entering in progress and myself and my partner showed up and we go to get into this apartment where the door had obviously been kicked in. So possibly someone inside, I go to reach for my sidearm and it's not there. The feeling in my gut was terrible because not only was I putting myself at risk, I'm putting anybody else that needs me at risk. I'm putting my partner at risk. Terrible, terrible feeling. Fortunately, I ran out to the car, which was very close, grabbed a shotgun, and then we took care of what we needed to take care of. Nobody was even inside at that point. They were already gone. So it was good. And I learned that night that when you put the gun in a lockbox to put the car keys in the lockbox with it, that way you could never pull away without forgetting your gun. Well, that's good if you're using the outside lockboxes. But on the inside at the station, when you use a lockbox, it's not always that simple because you don't have the keys to your car with you all the time in that situation. So I created this habit for myself on the inside that when I put the gun in the lockbox, I always take the key to the locker and I put it in my left pocket in my pants. So I developed this habit on the inside lockers. When I put the gun in, I take the key out and I put it in my left pocket. So I always go back to that pocket to get the key out to get my gun. Now, what happened recently is that I was in the jail and I put the gun in the locker and I took the key out and looking back on it, I remembered what happened was that my taser had moved oddly on my belt for some reason and I couldn't just slide the key into my left pocket. So I put it in the right, which I never do. So when I came back out, my hand probably went into the left pocket to feel for the key, which is the habit, didn't feel it. And in my head, I didn't need to go to the locker then. So my partner and I go on the road and shortly thereafter, we get a call about someone stealing at a local store. And so we pulled up and I stepped out of the car and realized, oh crap, <laughs> I don't have my gun. Again, terrible feeling. So here's my partner who's depending on me. Here's people at the store depending on me. Here's this thief that, is he armed? Is he not armed? Does he have people out in the parking lot waiting for him that could be armed? And so I'm starting to run through the options in my head what are you gonna do, Mike? Do you go the mall cop route? Placing your right hand on your away hip thusly, giving the illusion that you have a gun, which of course we both know you don't. Or do I use my ninja training to try to just scare everybody? Yeah, definitely a bad idea. So all those things are sort of running through my head. What are you going to do? I do carry a backup gun, but again, I don't want to take a backup gun into a much larger situation if I can help it. My sergeant pulled up. I told him what was happening. So I left my partner and him together on the outside of the store. I hop back in the car and zip back to the station. And I, I run inside, obviously, and get the lockbox open, get my gun. And as I'm grabbing my gun, I hear my partner calling out a foot pursuit. Dude, terrible, terrible feeling. Here I am inside trying to get the weapon that I should have with me. And your partner is chasing someone now. Sort of funny in the moment as I'm running by my lieutenant, he's like, isn't that your partner on the, on the radio? <laughs> no. So I scream over to where... The foot chase is coming to an end. They called out that they got him in custody, so I, I, I missed all the fun. But I pull up, and everything's pretty much already over. And at least I had my gun now. Apologies all around to everyone working. Um, although, 
my partner ran all the way across the parking lot and I did tell him later that I would have just gotten in the car and driven over there, but then I realized I left him without a car. This is all my fault. Anyway, moral of the story is it was a huge mistake on my part and it and it was all about habits. We, we, we are creatures of habit. We form them um, whether we want to or not. So we have to choose how to create those habits in a way that set us up for success and not failure. So definitely, definitely, definitely going to keep the habit of putting that key in the same pocket, but I need to make sure that I actually do it. So I've, I just need to move my taser out of the way, not to get lazy. Don't let uh, a little laziness alter a habit that in the end could mean life or death. I mean, it's crazy to think about a little locker key and a habit that you form could make the difference in a situation like that, but it can. So focus on the little things, form good habits, and don't do what I did. Learn from my mistake. And if you have those lock boxes, try to put your car keys in with it so you don't leave with it. If that's not an option, just form some type of good habit with it. So thanks for laughing at my embarrassing story. And yeah, I mean, I'm still awesome. Goodbye. Did I mention that this guy got tackled in the parking lot? Check it out. Going. <laughs>